Hey guys, uh, so today we're going to be fixing my arm motion on this sled. Uh, I just got the sled not too long ago, one owner sled, really good shape. And I went to take my mom for a ride on it, so I went to crank up my uh, quick adjust on the back and it broke. So uh, anyways, what you got in here is this is your normal quick adjust right here. And uh, it's got this little ring right here. So this ring has four dots on it and it threads into there and then in turn your quick adjust goes in here and as you turn it, it threads and pushes this in farther into the piston in here and makes you have a, a pushes a piston up underneath here and you have a stiffer ride. So mine, the middle is there, as you can see there's no threads left. So Skidoo will only sell you a whole assembly of course. I thought maybe they'd just be able to sell me this ring and I could reuse this. There's supposed to be this little notch right here on the on there is um, I guess so you uh, here I could drop that I gotta grab that I guess that's for so when you're in there you can't back this out too far there's supposed to be an e clip on there which I lost which but I'm not gonna worry about that uh, so you'd have to put this together from the other end which I can't can't do so anyways to get this out I used two uh, allen heads and I put them in there that fit right tight in these holes and then I took a pair of channel locks and went on them and then twist it and this came out so now we're gonna drill this out and put a Healy coil on it thread this back in and we should have a working suspension so while I had it out I took some penetrating oil and stuff and put it in there just to, in case that piston just to give it some lube because it's always going back and forth in there there's no lube so it won't hurt anything I did the same thing to the piston underneath here up in uh, here I put some on so yeah now I'm gonna get these Healy coils I just got them off of Amazon if you want me to post a link I can but uh, instead of paying $50 for one Healy coil got this whole thing for $60 of metric ones uh, five sizes so what you're gonna need right here M10 by 1.5 is the thread you're gonna need so we'll uh, drill this and tap this and get us up and running again so yeah now we I uh, got my rubber glove around there so I don't bugger the threads we'll uh, drill out this hole and get this Healy coil going Alright, so we're all drilled out there. Try and go as straight as you can. Ideally, you use a drill press, but I don't have one, so this is going to have to be correct, as can be. Uh, I just took my time and made it as straight as I could. Now we're going to take the tap. Got to run it through straight also. So uh, you can use your choice of a socket that fits the end. I prefer the the rocky ones so then you can see if you're level or not so I'm going to do that now. So we're going to try our best now and uh, get this nice and straight and tap this now. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with how that tapped out. Now we can take our uh, insert, take it with the this part, you put it down, and then you gotta get your tool and start threading her in here. Alright, so you thread that in until you're happy for where that is. You want this flush, in this case it really doesn't matter for this thing, but if you're doing it any other time you want it flush. So just keep going until it's flush, right there it's flush and I'm happy with that. Once that's done, you just take your other tool here, which you can use the other one, and you just gotta 
give that a whack to break off the bottom. All right, so once you uh, put it in there, you get it through, and then uh, this one just overlapped a little bit. I left it without cutting it, which was perfect. Same with here, it's just over the top a bit, but it doesn't matter, they're not mating surfaces, right? You take your other tool and uh, take a hammer, put it through there and bang, it'll break the tab off the bottom. Then you can uh, go ahead and take your piece and make sure it works. There you go, you're repaired there. It's good to go. You can uh, go ahead and put that back on the sled. If uh, you have your C-clip or your E-clip, you take it until it's past that groove right there, right to there. You can put your E-clip on there. And then you, uh, and, then it's, and then it'll come out, or and then you put your E-clip on there and it'll come and then it won't let this come out but I'm pretty sure the reason why mine was stripped was the last guy or whoever had it they hit came to that e-clip and they uh, got it to there to the edge of the block and then they kept going and they stripped it and because mine was bent and it wasn't on it it was sitting in the bottom of that cylinder so I'm pretty sure whoever did it bent that and stripped the threads so uh, I'm not going to put it back on I'm just going to make sure that there's always pressure on it and it's not going to rattle out and you should be good we'll get to put it in the sled all right so I got my two allen keys they're 7 ths you take it this head loctite on it but I don't have any here so I'm not going to put any back on get that lined up and start threading her in sure there's a special tool for this that's for sure I don't have one so we're just making this work and this is how you can do it if you're a DIYer I can almost guarantee you don't have the tools so we're gonna make it work like everybody so you can do this in your own garage Alright, I hope this R motion fix helped you. And if you want to see more videos on these uh, Skidoo Rev XRs, and I guess this would apply to the XPs and XSs, but if uh, you want anything particular, or particularly towards R motion, the 1200 X package and stuff, any Skidoo like that, I'm going to be doing lots of videos on this thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this helps your R motion, and hope that if you have the problem this helped you fix it and that was m10 by uh 1.5 thread so that's what you're going to need to buy for your heli coil i hope this helped thanks for watching guys check out my other videos